Okay, I've been asked the question, mesh or solid? And uh, so I've had, I've, I've had the best of both worlds. Um, and I would have to say that uh, solid, you probably do get a little bit more signal, but mesh um, that does a lot better on windy days is what I can say. So on this episode of the Happy Satellite Nerd, I'd like to talk about my experience between mesh and the solid. Position. And with the mesh dish, I have it over on Decades on 101 West. And I'm um, getting about, uh, it says they're 49% for the SNR. I see it on my phone here. So here you got the AGC at 80%, and then the SNR um, is about 49%, which I think is pretty good. Like the picture quality on the TV is coming in good. My Z Gamma doesn't have this A. I don't know, if someone can explain to me, maybe it is in there somewhere, the AGC uh, settings as well as the SNR, and anything that I can get to display on the screen, I haven't figured that out with the Z Gamma yet. If they could say that in the comments, that'd be cool. Uh, that would be helpful. I do know I can get it on my phone here, and this is a great little app, Magma 2 Toolbox, which you can get in the Play Store. Now, with my solid Black Beauty, which is resting there, I have not had the heart to scrap it yet. I've posted it online for sale but nobody seems to be interested in this as it lays on the ground it was a uh, served me well uh, but it looks like like this thing will take up the whole, pretty much with the back of a pickup truck so I don't know if we're gonna have to just cut it up which breaks my heart to have to say that I do that but uh, but but the biggest problem was with Black Beauty was as my furnace kicks in in the background, was this pole where I put the concrete in the pole here or, uh, for the new pole. And uh, so I got, it's nice and solid in there. And um, got the pole uh, good and plump for the, uh, for the mesh dish. But the problem I had with the old dish is I had it connected to that pipe there. And every time the wind, it would blow around and, uh, and move around. So one thing I, uh, as I said, and that's not necessarily a pole or, um, or sorry, a solid or mesh de uh, deal. It's just a matter of uh, a bad installation that I had going with that. If I had a, a full solid pole uh, for that dish, it probably would have been a lot better off. In wind, any satellite dish with wind, you're gonna have a little bit of free play there. Like I'm wiggling the dish there, and you can see that that part there. You can shim it in, and tighten it up if you want it on a on a windy day. I just leave it at that though, I'm happy with that. So I've had this dish up for a while now and one thing I can say, we have had a windy day so far and I can say that it has performed better uh, in the wind. Now if I could recommend a mesh or solid, it's hard. Uh, it's a hard one to say. I, I like this mesh dish, I like the look of it. Uh, the solid was just mainly me going on Kijiji, looking around and that was the one I was able to find that was 8 feet. Because I didn't want to put a, a ten footer. So one thing I uh, cer certain things I really like about this dish is that LMB holder was very easy to adjust and get things get things adjusted. I have my LMB actually sticking out quite a bit there to get the good signal for the DVB uh, S2 stuff. I was able to get the S um, DVB S stuff no problem. The S2 stuff I had to fine tune the LMB to get it. And one thing I've been able to do a lot better with this uh, mesh dish that I've that from Tech 2000 is I've been able to adjust this pull mount. This pull mount I was able to do a lot more and better with. The old pull mount if you look at that part there that part was uh, it's just so rust welded I don't even think I, I would, should have even bothered moving it. So overall I think the um the mesh dish can does a pretty decent job. First, I was I was reading lower signal than what I was getting with my um, 
a solid dish, but uh, after getting it tuned up a bit, I've found that I've been getting just as good signal uh, that I was getting with my uh, eight foot solid. Created a little rain coat for my dissect switch. Set that there. So, so far with my setup, I've been able to get uh, 91 to 107 west, and I haven't been able to get the, uh, on the arc, I've been able to get them with the dish, but I haven't been able to get uh, 131 to all the way to um, 55 west is where I was able to get before with my um, my solid dish. But that uh, that's just a matter of me getting it adjusted just right. That's either, I don't know if it's the LMB skew or changing the azimuth uh, on the pole mount, which I have been messing around with, but then I tend to lose 91 a bit. So uh, I think I just need to lock on to 87, some of the transponders in 87, and just work my way out from that so I can get further along on the more east and western parts of the arc. So I'd like to know what are your, if you've uh, set up, used a C-band dish and had a solid or a mesh dish, if you could tell me your experience uh, with yours and how has it worked out for you. With this one, it, uh, I'm pretty much getting uh, very close to the same signal because I'm using the same size of a dish. But I'd like to hear uh, your comments, what would be better. A lot of the experts say that a solid is better, but I found that I've been able to get pretty close uh, if not the same results with the mesh. One really cool thing about this dish is if you stand like right in the right spot, you hear your voice bounce back at you with this thing. It's really cool. Um, imagine if you st if if you had some sort of pole mount and used it that had a microphone on there, you could pr and it had it aimed. You could probably listen to people talking from like miles away or whatever. But it, it's really cool. If, if it was. Uh, it was set up that way. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free-to-air satellite reception.